is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. Dow's down 190 at 33,857. A very important session. We'll go through that as we go through the different indices. You'll see that the SPX, that's the S&P, is down 34 <clears throat> at 4144, down 0.85%. Dow's only down 0.55. I said to subscribers, I think the Dow is going to actually now hold better than the uh, other indices which which were leading. We'll see what happens. The QQQ is down 1.1%, um, down 366 at uh, 308.20. Uh, there is a pattern here that I'll talk about in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour, but this is a G alternate account, G slash C. We're always expecting at least a D. We'll talk about that. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, a uh, down 0.59%, uh, minus 115 at 197.15. Had a fabulous move. It's actually holding a lot better than the others. Gold. Gold is down 42 dollars at uh, 1888 the pattern I was just talking about the G slash C that makes a cup formation and then pops to a slightly higher high goes to that D and then tumbles we were talking about it yesterday I had a whole thing about it on my show uh, that's exactly what's happening here gold is finally de declining as the dollar is moving higher it's not that much higher than it was a week ago but certainly higher of the, of the low of yesterday of 100.82. It's at 102.53, up 0.76, uh, 78. Uh, this is not necessarily the start of a big move to the upside, but definitely there is a counter trend rally that we're looking at. Looking at crude oil, <clears throat> crude oil is up today, up $1.44 at 77.29 in the lower range. But then what's really important here is what's happening to bonds. And you can see that bonds are down sharply. That means rates are going up. Uh, bonds at 129, 26, 30 seconds. Um, so down about two points. Uh, yeah, I think bonds, I think the rates are just stuck in a range for now, uh, probably moving a little bit higher. So as we go to the break, we're coming up for the Tiger Technicians Hour. I hope we can stay. There's a lot to discuss. There are patterns, there are stocks, all sorts of things that are really pertinent to the market right as we stand at this particular moment. And as we go to the break, I'll go to this one-minute chart which shows you we made a peak D, and now we're pulling back in the one-minute chart. Peak D in the 10-minute chart gave that huge slump at 8.30. I'll be back in a moment.